Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. I recently received an email from Jay. Jay told me about a problem one may encounter with Lightroom when they're using masking and any of the healing tools. Let me demo the problem, then I'm going to show you how you could avoid it. I have this image, it's an unedited RAW file. Let's just start out by doing a very simple edit on it. I'm going to go to the basic tab, I'm going to open up the shadows, I'm going to bring in the highlights a touch, I'm going to white point the conventional way, I'll hold the option key on my Mac, it's alt key on a PC. I'll do the same thing for blacks. Let's add a little bit of texture, a little bit of clarity, and maybe just a touch of vibrance. And let's just bring exposure up just a touch. Okay, a very simple edit. Now I want to do something with the sky. So I'm going to go up to masking. I'm going to select the sky. Selected the sky, great. I'm going to go to presence and I want to add drama to the sky. So I'm going to go to dehaze, move that to the right. We'll add some clarity, we'll add some texture. All right, I'm done with masking. Now let's just pretend I don't like this bird right here and I want to remove it. So I'm going to go over to the healing tools. And it doesn't matter which tool you use, that is the Content Aware Brush, the Heal Brush, or the Clone Brush. It will have this problem with all three of them. We'll go with the Content Aware Remove Brush first. And let's keep opacity at 100. We want to totally remove the bird. And let's just get a brush that's going to do the job. And we'll paint over our bird here. Like this. And come off the image. And you see what happened? We have an outline of the bird. Now I mentioned. It doesn't matter which tool you use, and it won't matter. You can move around opacity. It's still going to be there. Let's undo it. We'll hit Command-Z on my Mac. It's Control-Z on a PC. Let's go to the Healing Brush. Same thing. Come in, and we'll paint over our bird here. Come off. See, it's still doing it. Undo it by hitting Command-Z. We'll go to the Clone Brush. Same exact thing. And see, we still have that weird outline. Again, opacity, moving that around is not going to get rid of it. Changing feathering won't help. Won't, it won't solve the problem. Let's undo this. I'll Command-Z again. All right, let's, in fact, let's reset, reset this whole tool. Let's go over to masking and delete all the masks. So we're at the point now where I just did basic adjustments. Here's how you avoid this problem altogether. You have to do any healing adjustments before you do any masking. So at this point, instead of going up and doing masking for the sky, go to the heel tool. Let's go to the um, heel brush itself and we'll come in and remove this bird. And you can see the birds removed. Now go over to masking, select the sky, and I'll do the same thing. I'll add drama to the sky. I'll add some clarity to the sky, we'll add texture to the sky, and you can see that it worked. So that is the order of events. You have to do any healing adjustments before you do any masking. Now, personally, I found this problem to only occur when I was removing larger objects like that bird. I didn't really find it with removing sensor spots like on this image but from what i understand from jay some people are finding that at times when they remove sensor spots uh, if they do it after they did masking they're having some weird outlines and weird effects being left over so even if you're removing sensor spots and you need to use any of the healing tools do it before you do any masking and you may be thinking, well, you like to do the masking because you could go to sky and you could add like dehaze and it could help you better see those um, sensor spots. Well, delete that. I want to remind you, I recently did a video that when you have any of the healing tools open down here in the toolbar, you have this little checkbox, visualize spots, which gives you this kind of black and white view and it could allow you to better see the spots. So definitely take advantage of that. Remove any spots before you do any masking. That would be the best way to do it. Um, and again, I really didn't find the problem when I was removing something as small as a sensor spot, or in the case for this image, these are actually sensor spots. Those are water droplets because the wind was blowing actually uh, quite um, 
you know, strong right at my camera and it was whipping up the water a little bit and throwing the water on the lens. So, um, I still didn't find the issue, but maybe if I wanted to print this, uh, I would all of a sudden see there's an issue there. Maybe I just didn't see it on my computer. So better safe than sorry. Uh, do any healing adjustments before you do any masking. Uh, just do it that way and you'll get the best result. Again, I'd like to thank Jay for emailing me and letting me know about this issue. And I'd like to thank all of you for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.